All right, guys, right now I am in, wait, where am I? Oh, Cheyenne, Wyoming, that's right. Uh, and I want to talk to you guys about, do I need a CDL? This will be the definitive answer of whether or not you need a CDL to hot shot. The million dollar question, the question of the day, whatever you want to call it. This is what we will be answering in this video. Do I need a CDL if my trailer is rated over 10,000 pounds? Let's cover the basics first. CDL, commercial driver's license. Uh, this technically is named incorrectly. It's, I think, a weight license. <laughs> it should be. Uh, it's basically how heavy of a trailer or how heavy of a truck or a, a vehicle or combination vehicles you can operate. All right, guys, great feature on this iPhone. I can screen record for you, so that is what I'm doing. I'm sorry it's in portrait mode, but the website I'm using, driving-tests.org. It's not the government website, but they have a scan of every single commercial driver license or driver's handbook. So go ahead and select whichever state you live in. I don't live in Alabama, but I am gonna do all 50 states and the District of Columbia. So we're starting with Alabama, every single one. So if you scroll down somewhere where introduction is or somewhere like a couple pages in, you will get this excellent flow chart, okay? Now, this basically is the easiest way, just automatic, the easiest way to determine if you need a CDL to drive your current setup or not. All right, guys, follow along with me at the very top. Does the vehicle or combination of vehicles have a manufacturer weight rating, GVWR, or actual gross vehicle weight, GVW, over 26,000 pounds? And the answer to that is no, I do not weigh 26,000 pounds. I weigh MP16, and I'm rated for 26, which is not over 26. That's exactly 26. So that's no. Is the vehicle designed to carry 16 more people? No, it is not. And does the vehicle require hazardous material placards to, or transport a select agent or toxin? No, I do not. Therefore, I do not need a CDL. Are you guys following along? Now, I have a screenshot of every single state in alphabetical order, and we're gonna go through every single one. Arizona, nope. Alaska, nope. Arkansas, nope. California, uh, hold on. I already made a video about this. This applies only to California residents and you need a CDLA with restriction 88. I don't live in California, so nope. Colorado, nope. Connecticut, nope. Delaware, nope. District of Columbia, nope. Florida, no. Georgia, no. Hawaii, nope. Idaho, nope. Indiana, nope. Iowa, nope. Kansas, nope. Kentucky, nope. Louisiana, nope. Maine, no. Maryland, no. Massachusetts, no. Michigan, no. Minnesota, nope. Mississippi, nope. Missouri, nope. Montana, nope. Nebraska, no. Nevada, no. New Hampshire, no. New Jersey, no. New Mexico, no. New York, I do like how, it's a no, but I do like how they word it, okay? And you can see, right here on, on the, under the second point, it says, a trailer with a GVWR of more than 10,000 pounds, if, keyword, if the gross combined weight rating is 26,001 pound or more. Right there, I love how New York puts So New York is saying that if your trailer is over 10,000 pounds, but you're under 26, a CDL is not required. You can see that right there. All right, let's keep going. North Carolina, no. North Dakota, no. Ohio, no. Oklahoma, no. Oregon, no. Pennsylvania, no. Rhode Island, no. South Carolina, no. South Dakota, no. Tennessee, no. Texas, nope. Utah, nope. Vermont, nope. Virginia, nope. Washington, ah, uh, hold on. Another good state. I like how they, per like, look at this flow chart. This is an excellent example of what a great flow chart is. Don't get me wrong, the answer is still no, I don't need a CDL in Washington. However, 
let's do the flow chart just so you guys can see. First question, do you drive a combination vehicle? Uh, yeah, I do, truck and trailer, that's a combination. Second question, is the manufacturer's weight rating of the towed vehicle, the trailer, 10,000 one pound or more? Uh-oh, mine is, mine's rated for 13.7, so we have to say yes. Moving on, is the manufacturer's gross combination weight rating of the vehicles 26,000 and one pound or more? And no, I am not rated for more than 26,000 and one pound. I am rated exactly at 26, which means I say no. Is the manufacturer's weight rating of your single vehicle? Here you go, single vehicle, 26,000 and one pound or more. And my truck is not rated for 26. My truck is rated for 12.7. That means I say also no. However, this 10,000 pound trailer, everybody needs to understand the 10,000 pound trailer thing is to determine whether or not you can get away with a class B. So class B means single vehicle, 26,000 pound or more, or combination vehicle, 26,001 pound for the first one and 10,000 or less for the second one. That's what class B means. Class A is 26,000 pound or more for the, first one and 26,001 pound or more for the second one. So a combination of more than 26 or individually. So this is what everybody is getting hung up on. The trailer is to determine whether you're getting a class B or class A. But moving on, is your vehicle 26,000 pounds or less designed to carry 16 or more passengers, including the driver? No, it's not. Is your vehicle a school bus? No, it's not drives like one ha <laughs> no i'm kidding uh so <laughs> moving on does your vehicle 26,000 pounds carry placarded hazardous material and that is a no and it says stop you do not need a cdl that is clear as day and it asks the questions exactly that you guys want answered so moving on all right home stretch here it comes west virginia no wisconsin no wyoming no that's it we're done so let's summarize this lengthy, boring video. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I just been recently getting a bunch of comments saying, oh, well, you need a CDL because your trailer's over 10,000. So you guys, summarize. The 10,000 pound requirement for the trailer, that determines whether you're okay with a class B or you have to get a class A. It has nothing to do with being under 26 but over 10 for your trailer. If you're under 26, simply put, you do not need a CDL ever. The only time, one exception to that rule is California and I do not live there. So that is why I do not have to have a CDL with restriction 88, none of that. You guys, Thank you so much for getting through all this. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like these deep dives? I swear my channel has become the myth busters of hotshot trucking. I swear it's hilarious, but it's fine. I want to provide as much value. I want to help you guys as much as possible and bust these myths as aggressively as possible. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys like these videos? Did I do something wrong? Did I mess something up? Don't forget, subscribe and hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.